Okay, I'm over here um, in our equipment shed here, our littler one, uh, here at the farm, and I'm going to give you guys a little mini farm tour, kind of what we have around here at the farm. So uh, let's get started. So this is just a farm truck we have. Uh, it's a gas uh, Chevy 2500. Um, you know, we got strobe lights, toolbox. It just has some little stuff. Um, we use it haul bales with, haul some cows with it. It gives it a load, but it's okay. It, it's nice to pull lawnmowers around and stuff with in the summer. So this is our 2016 Cat CT660 right here. Headache rack on there. Um, tag axle right here. Um, got a rear hitch on here and it's kind of nice. We pull the grain cart around the storage with it. And we got some toolbox on there, some boxes. Um, I'll bring you inside here. It's a pretty nice interior. Um, it's got an Eaton transmission in it. Uh, nothing too fancy. It's a nice truck, though. Um, we use this on the low boy a lot. Um, when we're moving the excavator, bulldozer, other bulldozer, whatever, on the uh, low boy. So it's nice to do that with. Because uh, it's more of it's a heavy built truck so we can uh, pull in the fields and uh, Pull in the, wherever we're working at so that's pretty nice Okay, so here's the uh, John Deere 330 G skid loader um, That you've seen me use this a few times in videos. That's the skid loader. I've been in in videos um, This is our newest one. We just bought this I think two years ago so I think it's like a 2018 or 27 I don't know when we got it, but it's a nice skid loader we we ordered we bought it, it we bought it with the no flat tires but um they were just uh, really heavy and um, they they sunk they sunk in the mud really bad so we um, got some regular tires to put on there but we still have the no flat so if we're like working at a construction site or something you know, we can put those on and uh not have to worry about getting a flat tire or anything like that i'll take you inside here you guys have probably seen the inside of this already in some of my videos but uh there's just nothing too fancy in there got radio it, this one has a backup camera on it uh just has the buttons to start it with like all the newer ones do and uh it's got iOS controls, or you can switch it to H controls, whatever you want. <coughs> okay, here's our John Deere 3020. It's a gas. It's we still use this tractor, but this is we still use it. It runs fine. Uh, so. We uh, we've been using it to uh, we always use it to uh, move silage wagons around and unload them into the ag bagger with. It's nice to use that with. Okay, so we'll move on here to the John Deere 6030. Uh, we have hub mount duels for it somewhere. I don't know where they're at, but uh, I'm not sure what gear this is. We uh, we we actually just installed this top a few months ago. It's uh it's pretty nice. Makes it look good. Just like any other 6030 up here. So um we'll move on to the 4320. Um it actually came we when we bought when they bought it it had a cab and it had duels on it. But um, it was sitting down there in one of our, our old barn here at the farm one day, they said, and um, it fell through the barn. So uh, they actually had to take the cab off and take the duels and stuff off to get it out of there, and they just never put it back on. So I really like this tractor. I'm not sure how many hours it has on it. That's definitely not right. This has a lot of hours on it. They use this tractor, like, all the time. We still use it, too. Uh, haul salvage wagons. It's fun to drive. 
Um, I think my dad restored this in the early 2000s. So it's restored up, it looks nice. But it's always been taken care of, its whole life. I do need to fix this sometime. There's like a rivet that's came out there. But um, we'll move on to the John Deere 6150R. Um, this is set up on, like it has skinny tires so we can, we use this to applicate nitrogen. 32% in the uh, summer. Um, we actually, this tractor is actually on lease. Um, I think we've had it for a few years. Um, it's nice in here. It's we got an IVT transmission. See right here. And it's got the reverser up here. Um, it's just like any uh, larger 6R tractor in here. Um, I like this tractor. Although it does get a little bit bumpy on the road because it, the weight isn't balanced right, so it kind of jumps down the road, but it's really nice. We use it to applicate nitrogen, and then we uh, also put it on the hay mower every once in a while, too. It's nice to have one there because it has an IVT transmission, and uh, it actually sits a, it sits up pretty high, so you can see out really well. Um, that's about it in here. Um, we'll move on to the, I think... This is a 2016, I believe. Now that's not when we leased it, but um, that's what year it is. Okay, so we'll move on to the John Deere 6420. We bought this tractor new in 2005, or well, it may have been after that, but that's what year this tractor is. I always call this uh, my tractor because that's how old I am. So um, we mainly just use this t um, to run the Moco. The hay mower, uh, it pretty much stays on there all the time. Um, we also use it a little bit to uh, haul silage wagons. Um, that for any small tractor usually hauls silage wagons. So every once in a while, I like this tractor. I I like these uh, older tractors because they have these little windows right here, and in the summer that can be nice. You know when you especially when you're mowing when you don't want to have the huge back window open and but you but you're in a rocky field let's say you can open these little wagons uh, the windows and you can hear you know if you hit a rock with the mower or something there's one on both sides where with the new tractors like the 6150 that has, just has a full door so you know you can you, the only thing you can really open is the big back window so i like this tractor it's just got a b c d standard um, I wish this tractor did move a little bit faster, but they didn't make fast moving tractors. They didn't make the faster transmission whenever they made this tractor, so that's what's in it. Now, this this one only go like 19 miles an hour, whereas the 6150 will go like 26, so it's, uh, that's the one thing I don't like about this tractor. Um, we actually bought this tractor with a loader on it, but, uh, we took it off and we put it on a 6400 we bought a few years back. It's not here at the farm. It's actually at one of our other cattle farms out across the town. You know, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna fit through here. Oh, climbing over the axle. Oh. Okay, here is John Deere 4250, one of two. I actually pull with this tractor, tractor pull with this tractor, so it's turned up, uh, it's uh, got some power. It's got a four post, um, no cab or anything. Uh, like I said, I've been pulling with this tractor so it has the chrome stack on it and the, we got the air breather down. Um, I have, it's turned up a little bit, but I have no clue how this tractor has so much power, but it's had a lot of power ever since we bought it, I don't know. So um, this has got the quad range transmission. A, B, C, D right here, and one, two, three, four, and reverse. This thing, when I'm pulling it, it usually runs about 2,700 RPM, so it gets going. Moving on, 4020, diesel, power shift. Not sure what the year is on this. I should have uh, checked out all the years on these before I actually came over here and did this, but oh well. Um, I don't know. I can't really get on this, but I'll put the camera up here and show you the power shift. 
like any other PowerShell 4020. This one is restored. It's nice. I don't know when they restored this or what, but uh, we didn't buy this original. Uh, they bought this some other time, so it's it's a nice tractor. Uh, we get it out every once in a while. Just like any other old tractors, it usually just sits around a lot. But, uh, you know, they're cool to have. So we will move on over here, if I can fit, to, well, we'll go up front and start again. Um, you can see a little sneak peek back there. But uh, we'll start over here and work our way down. Uh, this is just a Mitsubishi forklift. We've had this for a few years. Um, we got this from the Commitment Rewards from Bex right there. Um, we use this forklift, moving seed in here. Usually uh, in the springtime and beginning of summer, this whole area right here and the whole back area there is all filled with seed boxes. So this, this, all this storage in here kind of goes away, but the 8335 is on the planter and 7930s out of here, 6150s out of here, so uh, it empties out. So this is our John Deere 855D Gator. Um, let's see if I can get a better view of it right there. It's got the, uh, I don't know what kind of color that is, but it's got like a darker green on there. Um, I like the color, you know, it blends in pretty good if you're like hunting with it or something. But uh, I actually installed some LED lights on the front because all I had was these ones right here. So I installed these LED lights and it's got a winch on the front too. So it's pretty bright. Um, it's a, uh, you know, standard gator, nothing much. Uh, it actually came with the side nets, but we took them off. They did get kind of annoying because they would drag on the ground and collect a bunch of mud and stuff. So um, we just took them off. There, we had no need for them. So this is a uh, John Deere worksite gator. As you can see, it's yellow. Um, We've had this gator for like a really long time, a really long time. Uh, it's got its problems, you know, tires, you know, fender. The fender, I think the fender's like half off over here. Um, yeah, right there. Fender's half off. It's missing a few lights. I don't, every time we fix this thing, it seems like it gets broke again. This poor old thing. I think it's had the engine. I think it has a new engine in it. I think the uh, John Deere guys actually, they came out here, they, they actually just replaced the engine and they drove it right through the creek and flooded the engine, ruined the engine. So they had put a new engine in it. So, like I said, this thing's, but it, I mean, it still goes, it's, it's a good gator, it's nice. I probably, I think I learned the drive on that thing, so. <laughs> so we'll start going back, I know. I don't want to show you guys this. It's red. Yeah, we're just gonna move on from that. It's it's like a 706 or something. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've had that thing part countless times. Yeah. No. Okay. Our second John Deere 4250. This tractor. Uh, we just bought this a few years back um, at an auction. It was a guy. Um, he was he passed away actually, and uh, he was they were auctioning off everything he had on his farm. Um, it's got a cab on it. Our other one has a four post on it. Um, it's all original. Um, I think this tractor. Um, if you you might have saw this actually on Machinery Pete's. Um, thing, uh, Harrison County. This tractor sold with, I think it had 1,200 hours on it. It has 1,470 right now. So, uh, very low hour tractor. I think this is an, um, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's only got 1,470 hours on it. Quad range transmission. Um, that's about it in here. We we did install a new radio. Because the other one didn't work. You know, you always got to have a radio. It is a little bit scratched. Scratched on the hood because he did mow with it. So the hood is scratched a little bit. You can see. I don't know if you can see. Scratched a little bit. Um, we did try to buff it out pretty good. But just couldn't quite get it.
but it looks better than it did when we got it. It does have a little bit of damage on the tires because he did bush hog with it. I guess it, he jackknifed it or something. So uh, what can he do? So moving on, our this is actually not our tractor. This is um, a friend of ours. It's just sitting here in the barn. It's a John Deere 4440. Um, we actually redid the we actually redid this tractor for him. Um, I think we had, to, we had to redo something in the transmission because uh, something went wrong. I don't I don't I don't remember what we had to do. But that's not our tractor. Moving on, this is our 4440. Uh, we bought this from a landlord a while back. Um, it sat in here, sat in the shed with the hood off and everything. It wasn't painted, but we brought it in the shop a few winters ago, completely restored it. New tires, all painted. Um, it's a really nice tractor. Um, I think, I'm not sure what the, what, what the hours were on it. I just about fell. I'm not sure what the hours were on it whenever, uh, we bought it, but let's see how many hours it has on it right now. We haven't really used this tractor much. Uh, 22,000 hours on it. Or no, 2,204 hours. So, not very many hours on it at all. Like I said, it's really nice in this cab. We redid the whole cab and everything when we painted it and stuff. So, uh, it's really good condition. Really, really good condition. As you can see, it's painted really nice. Uh, we spent we did we spent a lot of time on this tractor. We still need to get some front tires for it, um, but uh, it's not like we use it very much. So, but it's cool to have. It's really cool to have. Okay, so this is our John Deere 4440 has duals on it. We bought the, they bought this tractor original, brand new. Uh, like I said, not sure of the year, but uh, bought this tractor brand new. I think they restored it or they may not have I don't know but um, it's got duels on it uh, let's go see how many hours are on it I'm not even sure if you guys can even see me back here this is kind of dark so uh, I may have to open that door but uh let's get the light okay so somehow the radio is still on uh, I guess plugged it into the trickle charger there. Uh, this thing has 6,052 hours on it. But that, that may not be right. So uh, that may not be right. I don't know. Could be wrong. But that's what it says. Pretty sure I just blinded myself temporarily. Yep. This thing has a really nice paint job on it. I'm not sh pretty sure he restored it a few, be a few years back. But, uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Moving on. Go up here. Uh, to the 6430 John Deere. Uh, it's a premium. Well, you actually saw this tractor, uh, a uh, few, when one of the videos I was putting some salvage wagons away. Um, it's, uh, nice in here. We cleaned it up uh, last, well, this fall. Actually finished with it. Um, it's got the uh, faster transmission and it. it goes all the way up to it's uh, a B C D E F so this thing will run like 30 miles an hour it's pretty nice um, so uh, this is the tractor that we use if we have to go down the road a decent ways or something um, but uh, yep it's a really nice tractor uh, this thing has a ton of hours on it I am pretty sure it's almost a 5,000. We bought this tractor with like 4,000 on it. So mainly what this tractor gets used for is it goes on the bush hog and we are actually getting ready to put it on the straw blower. Um, I'm not sure if the straw blower is here. Um, no, not right now. But it, it's on the other 4020 right now. So we'll want to switch that out before it gets too cold. But it's actually like uh, 56 degrees here right now. So that's nice. Okay, this is our John Deere 4840. Uh, we have duels for it. They're not painted. We just, um, this thing is like a, we all redid the whole transmission and everything. Um, then we painted it while it was all apart. Everything's painted. Let's go see how many hours are on it. 
Oh, we have a tractor. We use this on our, uh, sometimes use this on our uh, vertical manure shredder, our coon. Uh, that is definitely not right because it says it has 274 hours. So that would be pretty cool if it had that many hours on it, but it doesn't. So you got the standard 44, 4840 transmission, you know, the 7 8 jump, 1 2 jump. Yeah, you know how that goes. If you have ever driven a 4840, you know that sucks. But it's a cool tractor. It's got some power, too. Like I said, we use that on our Coon Vertical Nearest Redder, and uh, we use it on our big 26 foot. Uh, Batwing brush hog sometimes, but usually it goes on the 7930. Uh, it's John Deere 7930. Um, I believe this is a 2008. Um, I may be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's a 2008. If I can fit through here, which may not happen. I already did it once, but well, if I can do it again, okay. Uh, pretty good condition. Uh, nothing wrong with it at all. Um, it has an IVT transmission. Um, uh, I, I uh, detailed the cab a while back after we got done bush hogging with it. But it's got the IVT transmission, climate track. Um, we do run our uh, 560M round bailer with this tractor, so uh, have the bailer monitor in here. We do use the older bailer monitor just because it's a lot simpler. We may eventually go to the newer one, but not right now. Um, it has a reverser up here. It goes and parked in it, parking everything right up here. It's nice, especially when you're bush hogging. <coughs> uh, that IVT is really nice whenever you're bailing also. So uh, we move back to what I like to call my tractor because I'm the only one that ever uses it. It is the John Deere 8335R. Um, it does have the ILS suspension on the front because it has front duals. Um, I think this is a 2013. So, cab is detailed in here. I, I do all the detailing mainly. Uh, this has an IVT transmission in it. Uh, just like 6150 and 7930, but this one doesn't have the reverser up here. It just has it all right here. I like this tractor. It's, uh, Definitely my favorite tractor. It has the premium cab. Uh, I think this tractor is actually on lease. Um, I think the lease is about up, so we'll probably buy this tractor. But um, I love this tractor. Like I said, it's a 2013. But it, uh, we usually just run the air drill with this. And that's pretty much all it does. It sits in here. Let's see how many hours we got on here. Oh, got to disconnect. Let's see. Like I said, I'm the only one that ever drives this tractor, so I'll turn that off. Has the leather seats and everything in the premium cab. Um, so come on. It does need a good pressure wash, it's pretty dusty. Everything in here gets dusty. Okay. 1,348 hours. So very low hour tractor. Like I said, we don't really use it much. Um, just on the planter. On the air drill. So Somebody's shooting out there. Not, not sure who it is. But I like this tractor. And um, I think that's really going to wrap up everything we have in here. Um, may bring them down and show you some semis or something. Oh, actually, we can go over to the shop and I can show you one of the combines, actually. We have one of the combines in the shop. So, uh, let's head over there. Okay, so, one thing I did forget to talk about is our pickup trucks. Uh, this is my dad's service truck. Um, pretty much has everything we need. It's a 2013 Duramax 3500. Uh, has a service bed on it. I think it's a nap hide. Um, we have an air compressor on there, everything like that. Um, then this is a 2005 Duramax. 
3500 um, pretty good condition in here um, has a service bed on it and um, has an air compressor fuel tank the other one has a fuel tank too um, we'll move on to uh, the uh, like I what I like to call the shop on wheels Ram 3500 okay so this is a Dodge Ram 3500 turbo diesel coming uh, we got a big service bed on here um, it's pretty much all we use this for is like for welding and stuff like that we have air hoses it has a actually has a built-in air compressor in the engine um, we have a welder here a miller bobcat 250 diesel we got a little fuel tank up there this thing is really heavy so we try to cut down on the weight we have in it because it's full of tools so uh, we pretty much have everything we need probably more than what's in our shop actually so uh, let's move on to the shop and uh, show you the combine and there's two tractors in there okay so uh, this is our 2009 uh, 9870 SDS combine um, we actually have the duals off to get in the shop right now it actually has duals um, has the chopper and everything on it uh, let's actually get in here and see what hours we have on <coughs> Krista, shut the door. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright. I actually have wax on this right now. So you probably saw that in the video. Um, I just detailed the cab and put a camera in here. Let's see how many hours we got on this. I believe um, it has. Um, Oh, I think like 1,300 separator hours and like 2,500 engine hours, something like that. <coughs> well, okay, 2,400 engine hours, 1,379 in uh, separator hours, so um, not too many hours, but... That shows you how much we have to travel on the road. Uh, we do a lot of traveling on the road. So that just kind of shows. No. Okay. Uh, we actually just changed the main rotor bearing in it, so it should be good to go. Okay, so moving on to our John Deere 5020. This is our pulling tractor. It actually has like a 619 engine in it. Uh, we just put a fuel pump on it. Uh, that's our pulling tractor, so uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's uh, we just got not much of pulling stuff on it, so move on to the John Deere 4520, which is in a bunch of pieces right now. Uh, we're uh, rebuilding the motor and restoring it, so so we're doing with it. Okay, so this is our 94, I believe, Peterbilt. Uh, it's a blue, we just call it the blue, blue truck. Um, I could be wrong in the year, but that's, I think that's about what it is. Um, nice truck. Uh, we always keep it pretty clean. Um, let's see how many miles this thing has on. It's over a million, I know that. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's almost a million. 953,000 miles on it. So, uh, it's getting the miles on it. But, uh, this thing's been all over the country. So, it is hooked up to, uh, the wrong trailer. That's the wrong trailer, but oh well. Uh, I think this is a, this is our Tempty, um, I think it's the 2008 Tempty Super Hopper. Um, I don't know why this trailer's on here. Usually we have the uh, new uh, Wilson trailer on there, but uh, not sure why it's on there. Just uh, standard tarp and cranks on there. But uh, I think it's going to be it for this little mini equipment tour such farm tour. Um, that's the shop right there, and that's the machine shed we were in a little bit ago. There's the old barn.
So uh, that's gonna wrap this machinery tour up. This little kind of a mini. We, we don't really have much here at the farm, but it's all spread out everywhere else. So uh, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.